What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So it is currently almost the end of May, which means that in the next two weeks, ERAs will be opening and thousands of medical students nationwide and worldwide will be getting ready to apply to residency. So with this video, I aim to give you just a little bit of a timeline and a few tips on how to get ready to apply for residency and also direct you to some really good resources that can help you make your application stand out. So before we get started, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, social media in general to stay up to date with what I am doing. So let's get into the video. So first up, the most important part is that you need to start preparing early. You want to create a list of programs that you are interested in so that when the time comes you can favorite all of those programs on the ERAS platform and as such be organized and be ready to apply by the time that September comes around the corner. So when you make your list, you, you want to use platforms that have reliable information about programs. You want to use reliable platforms like Doximity, AMA, and specific and specialty specific platforms like APCO or AAFFP or the American Association of Family Practitioners. Things like that that have all of the information about specific programs and give you what the current step scores are for their current residents, where their current residents come from, how many residents they have per year, what the salary is, all, all, all that information that can be very useful in helping you make a decision on whether you want to apply for that program and live in that area. In addition to that, it will also help you rule out programs that you may be under or over qualified for and make sure that you are applying to a good number of programs in which you have the best chance of getting an interview. So step one is, I always say, is to create a list and this list is gonna be your guide into your application process. Next up, is the earlier the better. So the earlier that you start gathering all of the things that you will need, so making sure that your personal statement is ready, making sure that your curriculum vitae is ready, making sure that you have your away rotations applied for, making sure that you have your letter of recommendation writers, and making sure that you have all the documents that you need if you need any IMG documents, any transcripts from your medical school or from USMLE or any other thing like that that you might need to get your hands on before the application deadline. Those things are important to gather. Uh, the earlier, the better. Next up is you want to make sure that your personal statement and your CV are on point. They have to be perfect. They have to give the reader a good impression of who you are and pique their interest in wanting to get to know you better. You want them to read that and say, hmm, I want to get to know this person more. I want to learn more about X or Y thing that they did during their undergraduate years or during medical school, things like that. And I actually have a few resources to offer you. I have a blog for those of you that do not know and I have a whole series on there called Road to Residency where I go into each of these things step by step in a post and guide you through the different things that I did and that worked for me in order to get into residency. So I give you tips on how to write your personal statement, how to create your list, how to do your visas applications, how to do your interviews, how to do your rank list, and all of those little details. In addition to that, I offer over on my website services to help you proofread and edit, revise your personal statement and your CV. And just recently, I started offering basically like a coaching service to fourth year medical students so that I can guide them and prepare them for the whole process of applying to residency. Of course, my experience is applying as a fourth year US graduate, so I have no experience at all uh, with international medical graduates or any other kind of reapplicant because that was not the case. But if this interests you, I will leave a link in the description box down below so that you can access my shop. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these services, that you can do so. And that way you will be able to get my one-to-one -one help 
on how to get a better personal statement, curriculum vitae, or prepare for your residency applications. Next up is to prepare for your interviews. So you need to have the right attire, but you also need to ask the right questions and you also need to give the right answers. So before your interviews, you want to make sure that you have a proper suit and a proper gear that you will need for all of your interviews. In addition to that, before each interview, you should browse the site of that specific program and find things that interest you and things you may not be so sure about about that program so that you can ask questions about it. So or if you, you may want to know if they have a new program director or how, what research opportunities they have or if they have a robot, if they're residents graduate robot certified. Many, many things like that that you will find on their website and they will give you a better idea of the program. In addition to that, you also want to look at, look at resources that give you questions that you should be asking or questions that they may ask you so that you are prepared to answer them. Make note that if, if there is anything in your CV or in your transcript that calls to action, like for example, if you took a leave of absence, if you had to repeat any classes, if you had to retake any of the USMLE steps, any of those things will be a topic of conversation and you, they may ask you to explain what happened or what did you learn from that specific situation. In my case, I was interviewing right after Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico and so I was asked many many times about how life was going after the hurricane, what I learned from living through the hurricane and a lot of other difficult questions that made me very emotional during my whole interview trail. So be prepared for those little things that may catch you off guard and may make you give a wrong full answer or make you look unprepared in case they do ask you those things. You also want to curate your rank list. So come January and February, the time will come to start creating your rank list. Your rank list is the list of programs you will officially be applying to. These should be the programs where you interviewed at and they should be organized in order from your personal preference of working in that particular program. So you want to make sure that your rank list is based on your favorite programs and making sure that they are programs where you made a good impression and where you could see yourself being for the next three to five years depending on your specialty. Making sure that you rank your programs accordingly is going to be essential for guaranteeing that you match. You do not want to put programs that maybe you are not suited for higher on your list because if they didn't like you, then your chances of matching at that program are a lot lower versus a program where you know you made a good impression and also a program where you would love to work at. Those are good programs to have at the top of your list. And then you may even choose to leave programs out where you cannot see yourself working out under any circumstances. So those are all decisions that you will have to make at some point throughout your process. Like I mentioned before, I do offer services to help you prepare for your residency applications and I also offer services to help you create the perfect personal statement in CV. So if you are interested in those, I will leave a link down below so that you can access those and send me your stuff and I can definitely help you maximize your chances of getting into the residency of your choice. So if there is anything else that you would want to know or want me to make a video about over the road to residency, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can take it into consideration and if not direct you in the correct direction so that you can find the information that you are looking for. Hey guys, so I am editing this video and I decided that I am going to do a giveaway. This giveaway is going live today and it's going to be available on Instagram and YouTube. And basically I am going to be giving away to one winner, um, one of my free coaching slash mentoring sessions uh, that I am now offering over on my blog. And I am also going to be picking another winner for a personal statement revision. So if you want to enter this giveaway, 
please make sure that you are subscribed down below. Leave me a comment down below as well, letting me know that you want to enter and why you deserve to get a free mentoring session for your residency applications. Also, make sure that you are following me on Instagram since the giveaway is going to be on both platforms so that you can stay up to date with what I am doing as well as when I pick the winner, I'll be announced on my Instagram stories and in the description box down below. So looking forward to that. And yeah, that is pretty much this giveaway. I will leave it open until June 30th and then starting July 1st, I will pick a winner and then we will go over everything that you need for your residency application. Best of luck to all of you guys. I will also be leaving a link down below for a freebie that I created. It is a residency application timeline and it takes you through the, my recommendations of when you should be doing certain things in order to make sure that you are prepared and doing things with a time in a timely manner so the link to that will also be down in the description box down below and if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up it will help me a lot in order to grow my channel if you want to see more videos like this please hit the subscribe button down below and follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook to stay up to date with what I am doing. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.